Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we have a big video ahead of us, uh, and a lot of editing for me to do. Uh, it turns out I, uh, I also, you know, I, I had to cut down on a lot of this video. Uh, I'm not used to so much editing myself, and I'm very bad at editing. So, uh, bear with me, guys, as, uh, as I try and, you know, cut this down as much as possible. But as you guys can see from the title, today we are going to be putting in my coilovers. And I'm going to bring, bring you guys through the whole process of me doing this myself. Uh, spoiler alert, I did not do it myself. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was very tough, and I had a lot of help along the way. And so, I don't know, maybe this can pose a lesson to you guys, but uh, I did not record much of it. And still, I feel like I've recorded, like, hours of footage. So, I'm going to try and break that down as much as I can for you guys. But without further ado, let's get into this video and uh, go back in the past to when I got my coilovers put on. Okay guys, post Wyatt here again. If you're wondering why there's no intro on this video, I can't find it in my gallery and I just mass deleted a lot of stuff yesterday. I hate my life. All right guys, it is 11 o'clock right now. Uh, I think someone should have just got home, but you know what? Okay, yeah, yeah just, I don't know why, just, just take over, please. All right, all right. So, at this point, uh, I had just finished uh, doing my first modification on my car, the headlights, and I was starting on my coilovers myself uh, at home, and uh, I had attempted to do as much as possible, but honestly, you'll see out later, uh, I struggled a lot, and I messed up with, uh, with something that was, like, really bad, bad, bad. And uh, you guys are about to see... Uh, how much of a disaster this turns into and uh, and see what really happens. Okay guys, it is the morning now. Oh man, I'm tired, or at least my eyes are. But I'm gonna show you guys uh, the progress we made and uh, and you know, try to get to work this morning. Although I do not have help this morning. So uh, we're gonna see what we can do. So I do have the break. Pause, right there. Okay. Now do you guys see that down there? That, uh, that fluid that happens to be leaking from right behind my rotor. Yeah, um, well, if you don't already know what that is, uh, you are about to find out how much I really just really messed up. Brake hose and the uh, ABS wire disconnected so far. And so what I need to do is the caliper bolts, I remove caliper and rotor, we're a sway bar link and the two bolts holding in the strut assembly and then get back here inside and these two theory bolts up here which won't be too hard and then we can drop this stupid thing and uh right now the huge roadblock is these very stiff bolts and the caliper bolts uh those are really difficult and you know and i'm thinking about something else right now these two bolts, or this one bolt right here. I don't know if you can just take this off and slide it off. But, uh, I think we need to remove the entire caliper. I don't know. Alright guys, so the greatest part about this is, uh, I have to give up now because, uh, I'm gonna need a lot more to get my caliper bolts out, and I need to drive home in two days. It's obviously not gonna work, uh, I don't even know why I thought any of this would work, but and now we have an even larger problem on our hands because I uh, I accidentally undid one of the brake hose uh, bolts and well now my brake system lost all its pressure and now I'm gonna cry. So now I have to bleed my brakes and uh, and now just put this thing back together. Try again next week. So at this point, I decided the school shop would be best, which I should have assumed beforehand. But we also had a bigger problem because my brake system was an ABS brake system. And uh, we ended up really screwing up when we bled our brakes. Uh, and so we actually had to have somebody uh, bleed all the ABS modules, or the ABS module, proportioning valve, etc. All that. And uh, it was a nightmare that ended up actually costing me money. So... Yeah, great job, pres pres past Wyatt. Great job, great job. I, I've had enough. I can't do this anymore. 
So thankfully, anyway, we got the uh, brakes bled and uh, took it into the shop because I was obviously going to need the shop's help with this. And, uh, well, it was, uh, it was quite, you know, a great experience from there. Uh, we didn't end up getting some good stuff, good progress done every single day. And it took me about three days. And uh, honestly, it was just about perfect timing as, uh, as I was going back to my dad's. And, uh, and eventually, we didn't end up completing this. So you guys are going to see the gradual videos. And, uh, and here we go, probably next, into, uh, into day three, the final day, where after all of this progress, I will show you guys absolutely everything and the results. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow is day three, guys. Tomorrow's day three, and it's the final day I have to finish my coilovers. If I want to allow them to be, or allow my car to be running and driving, braking, everything, in order to make it to my dad's house. I have everything prepared. My checklist. This is all I have left. And then finally, my dream will come true. Alright guys, it is pitch black outside right now. I feel like the worst case of bedhead. And, uh, it is 6.30 in the morning, and I'm just waiting on my ride to arrive because we are about to head to school. I'm not sure... Hey. Hi, kid. Hi. Hi. Meow. Anyway, uh, we are getting picked up pretty soon, and uh, as soon as we get there, we're getting to it. I have my checklist ready. I have everything ready, and uh, I'm ready to close this off and, uh, and finally get our coilovers on. Let's do this. There? Yeah, it's just the, uh, Mr. Martinez is probably going to arrive just about the time I get there, if not a little later. All right, guys, we have made it to the school. Lights are on, but nobody's home. So I guess I'm just going to wait for, uh, for somebody to come by. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody's even here, but... Let me in, please. Let me in. All right, guys. Here we are. We're alone in the shop. We gotta get this place opened up, and then, uh, and then we're getting started. I'm sick of my hair, dude. Here she is. Now look at the difference between this right here and this. This is still on the weight of the suspension. So this is gonna be my new right hat compared to that. That's crazy. Oh my god, guys, okay. We have, sorry, we were squeezing this really tight, but I'm actually staying after class, and uh, the next class is about to come in, and this thing, all that needs to be done is the caliper bracket bolts on three wheels, and then this thing is gonna get on the ground, and it's gonna get the hell out of here. I gotta go, I gotta go. And uh, gonna have some more help, so probably won't be able to record. Let's get it. Let's, uh, let's not lolly egg. All right, guys, it is so freaking hot out here, but, like, I, I just, I can't even step out in the sun or else I'm, okay, I'm not going to make that joke. Uh, anyway, uh, finally, 
Finally, guys, after three long days of waking up so early, going into the shop every day, and having my classmates carry out 90% of the work on my car like they're slaves, um, we've finally done it. That thing is sitting so beautifully, and I love it. But seriously, I can't thank you guys enough for, uh, for all your support on the channel, and the fact that I was finally able to accomplish one of my long-term goals is only a sign for what's to come in the future. I had to say, this is the first time I've been this proud of this car in a while. I love the way it's turning out and how clean it is. How, how clean it is. Ow, that burnt my head. And, uh, of course we got back seats not clamped in the back, but, you know, I didn't want back seats anyway. Uh, it's, uh, it's honestly looking really nice, though. I really love... Uh, you know, I could really appreciate the car now and that I've cleaned it up so much and, uh, and done so much to it. It truly is very beautiful. Hmm. Asbestos. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think that's going to be about the end of the video and, uh, some big things coming soon. Not necessarily for the car because, uh, I'm going to need to do some other things, including saving up. In order to do my next step so uh, I definitely will be doing some of these modifications soon enough like the much needed tent and much needed tent and uh, and some wheels because I do I really love these wheels on this car the stock wheels they look beautiful but uh, it would be nice to uh, possibly get some other wheels and uh, I don't know maybe sell these I, I really don't want to sell these though they're just they're, they're pretty and I like them. I, I like them on the car, and I don't feel like I feel like they're very hard to beat. I don't know. Make sure you guys let me know what you think about the car now, and uh, and uh, your opinions on uh, some coilovers. And so, with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.